So today I'm talking about a P0335 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0335 code? Well, it's a camshaft position sensor A circuit malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, the computer needs to know the timing of the engine so that it can send out the spark at the correct time and different things like this. And so to do this, it uses different sensors. Mainly it's going to use the camshaft position sensor and the crankshaft position sensor. And the crankshaft position sensor is just going to be located down around the crankshaft somewhere. And it's basically just monitoring the crankshaft as it spins and reporting this information back to the computer which the computer uses to track the timing of the engine and for some reason the computer's seen a problem with this so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why and one thing to know about these sensors is that sometimes not all the time but sometimes there could be what's called a, a relearn procedure and this is going to vary it's going to depend on the vehicle and on the year the make different things like this there might be a relearn procedure and sometimes this is just as simple as driving the vehicle around and the computer will automatically relearn and sometimes there could be steps like you start up the vehicle, you, you drive it for 30 miles per hour for five minutes, you stop, you drive it at 50 miles per hour or something along these lines. Some scan tools will also have this built into them where they'll do an automatic relearn. They'll have an option in there for that. These type of scan tools are usually pretty expensive, but some scan tools do have a crank relearn option inside of it. But basically keep in mind that if you swap out that sensor and the vehicle doesn't run right, it might have what's called a relearn procedure. And so what are some possible causes of a P0335 code? Well, the first thing is that that sensor might have just failed. It might have just gone bad. It just needed to be replaced. You can test these sensors if you want to. There's some good YouTube videos on that. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad crankshaft position sensor. The next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring, like an open short, bad connection, something like that going on. There's different types of sensors. You can have three wire ones. There's a lot of older vehicles have two wire ones. Some newer vehicles can even have four wire ones. So it's really going to vary. It's a good idea to get a schematic for your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on. For example, here's a 2014 Dodge Dart. And here's the crankshaft position sensor. It's going to have 5 volts going to it. When the key goes into the on position, this is going to get 5 volts. It's going to have a ground wire. And then every time there's a piece of metal directly in front of that sensor, it's going to send a pulse back to the computer. And the computer is going to be able to track it this way. That's fairly common with the three wire sensors, which is the most common sensor being used out there. Of course, like I said, be sure to get schematics for your particular vehicle so that you know for sure what's going on. But the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of wiring issue going on. And another thing that could cause this on some vehicles is going to be a blown fuse. Again, it's going to vary. Sometimes it could be confusing which fuse it is or if there is a fuse or different things like this. So you have to do some research on your particular vehicle. For example, here's a 2012 Kia Optima and the fuse in the engine compartment labeled sensor 2 is going to have several components on it including the crankshaft position sensor and so keep in mind that a blowing fuse can also cause issues usually the fuse for the crankshaft position sensor is going to be shared by other components so if you are having other things fail then definitely go check out your fuses but the last thing on the list is going to be a blown fuse and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the p0335 code if you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.